about four years ago. And I can remember going out to Etiwanda, and he was a little uh, skeptical, uh, but we, uh, we showed up at every one of his AAU games, uh, didn't miss one, gave him a lot of attention, met his family, went to his home, wonderful family. And we said, look, uh, you have to be the guy to come in and get this thing going. You have to be the reason that other players come to USC, and you have to lead every single day you're there for four years. Uh, and he did that. His final four schools were UCLA, Kansas, Indiana, and USC. So for Jordan to take the leap of faith to come and try to do this, uh, well, as Lynn just said up here, uh, all of you guys here, you know, the, the younger guys and everyone that comes after are going to remember our seniors. So let's hear from Jordan McLaughlin. support personally and uh, speaking on behalf of the team uh, we also appreciate your guys' support you guys were there through the rough times and even when it got uh, when the ball got going for us you guys still came and showed support so we appreciate you guys for being there since day one and um, this team uh, coming into next year I think they're really going to excel um, with the path that me and Elijah have built here Chemezi and Benny following uh, it's, it's really great. This program's headed to um, a really high ceiling program, um, one of the top programs in the nation. Um, the coaches do a great job. They make playing basketball fun. And the school sell, uh, the school part speaks for itself. I mean, we don't enjoy it. We don't love it. But, <laughs> you know, we get it done, and they help us get it done with all the academic advisors, Heather, Marisa, Kevin, everybody in that department over there. And then uh, to, thanks to JY and all the other trainers, uh, DT, Jordan Moore, Fisher, uh, social media, everybody. Um, it's, a, it's a blessing to be a part of this program and this culture here at USC. Uh, so thank you guys. We really appreciate it. Now we'll hear from our comedian, Elijah Stewart. Everybody, uh, hearing all the jokes from Coach Enfield and just taking all that ridicule for the past four years. You know, I feel like it's my turn. Uh, just piggybacking off of J Max today, I think for all the support, uh, the Road Warriors coming out to Italy with us. That's a time I'll never forget. Um, we had a, a lot of fun, made a lot of memories just over the years. Um, just changing the program and creating a winning culture here. I can really say me and J Max did that. Um, People looked at me crazy. I remember the first day um, I met with Coach Enfield. I came on, on my visit. Um, I think it was coming towards the end of my visit. My mom had slipped in the letter of, uh, of intent to come here. I go down to eat breakfast not knowing that they had it. I just see Coach Enfield smiling like this. He like, <laughs> <laughs> I see him breakfast in his teeth and everything. I was, You're a Trojan, and it caught me off guard because I told my mom to wait, but uh, she felt this was the best decision for me. <laughs> yeah. Right, mom. And coming here uh, was probably one of the better decisions of my life. The academics is really going to set me on for the future, along with the basketball and all the connections that I made. So, just want to thank y'all and say, love you, and fight on. <laughs> <laughs> 